Now, you ladies are no strangers when it comes to defying all odds in the beauty world. Now, is it shocking that we're still in a climate of educating others about the beauty of black women? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I feel like that's what's it right now. Like, our black community is taking over. A lot of businesses, a lot of hair companies, everything is black business. It's, it's everything is pro-black. And just to elaborate on your experience that you had um, on different sets that, that you were on, I feel as if knowing that you have a black actor, actress, or a black, that black leading role, I feel like if you're wearing a weave, it should be somebody that's, this, this person is wearing a weave, let's get somebody in here who's an expert at weave so she looks her best. Because mm -hmm. when I'm watching TV, I criticize. I'll be like, why that white girl look like that and that black girl? <laughs> Then get them edges right there, or I'll be like, she got on a U part, and you could tell because they didn't blend that with that. I know. <laughs> and when I meet people in person, I'll be like, I see that lace. <laughs> but, but seeing how there's such a, 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 you know, an increase in black businesses and a focus on our communities, right? Like people finally start to recognize us. Why is the industry not catching up, though? Why do we still go to sets and it's still like not? We're not being represented with the hair and makeup team. Because yeah. there's not enough of us behind the scenes bringing this point up. Um, a lot of times as a casting director and we have the uh, department head meetings, I'm the only black person in the room. So if you don't have anyone black behind the scenes speaking up and saying, hey, we got black girls, we mm -hmm. need to make sure we have somebody that knows black skin and black hair. So there's no representation behind the scenes to speak up for what's going on with the actors. Mm -hmm. huh. What do you well, think, you know, I think that, you know, it definitely matters that we have a seat at the table behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I created a whole company as a result of that, linking um, talent of color with production because I, re I recognized that I was one of the only people that looked like me behind the scenes. And quite frankly, we're out here. You know, we're talented, we're capable, we're credentialed, we have it, you know. And I absolutely think that as long as we can continue to advocate for each other and recognize that for every person that's in the room, you represent everyone that comes behind you. And mm. I take that very seriously. Yeah. All right, what's the name of your company? It's called The Glam Agency. Okay, yes. The Glam Agency. The Glam Agency. Okay. Yes. All right, Melissa, 80% of your work in television is with non-black talent. Has anyone ever questioned you about your experience doing makeup on people who are not black? Are they like, are you qualified to do this white skin? You know, it, it's a little bit more subtle than that because you know they walk into the glam room and they feel the energy, I can feel the energy of them taking a little bit, you know, taken aback by me physically and, and what I represent. But, you know, I, I'm, their per, I'm, I'm a professional, so I know how to disarm anyone that comes into the glam room. Uh, I, I will compliment something that they're wearing. If I've done my research, I've already Googled, maybe they had a, a recent press release and I compliment them on an accomplishment. So when you sort of disarm them, things become, you know, you're more relatable, mm -hmm. and then, then you can get the work done. So it does require us to have a little humility and realize that, yes, we're coming from two different worlds, and it's not personal, and I get it. And so I think that it's just a matter of how we are able to uh, get past some of those subtle discriminations to get the work done. Are you usually the only black makeup artist on sets? I am usually, a lot of the productions that I've been working on as of late, I am the only uh, makeup artist of color. However, I demand in my deal memo that I have an assistant, and guess what? She's, she or he is going to look like me. Wow. <laughs> okay. And not only that, then I also demand the rate, you know, because I know my worth and I know that it's important that, you know, we come in asking for what we want. That's the only way we're going to get it is if we ask. And there absolutely <laughs> is a black rate. Yes, there is a black rate. I have been on sets where I found out I was making one third of what the white girl is making. Yes. And I've walked out, I've threatened to walk off a set before because I was doing twice the work. And it's scary, but it's something that we have to do if we care about the women coming behind us. Mm -hmm. yes. Because if we are okay with it, they'll just continue to do it if you don't call them out. Right. And they will say something like, well, that's you know the urban budget. What, the urban budget. <laughs> like, they've said that. Yeah. No, you're right. Urban or is or they'll say, uh, this is the rate that we've been paying in Atlanta or other markets where they're right. shooting on. I'm like, no, but this is California. Right. And this is what we're, we're asking for. And if you want us, um, then you know pay us what we're worth. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. But it takes women, people, mm -hmm. not being fearless. I mean, saying being fearless. It takes them being fearless and not being afraid, like, well, if I say this, someone else just get it. It's I true. need the money. It's so true. So it's kind of like a catch-22, right? It is. However, what is fear? 
it is absolute mm -hmm. illusion. And you have a lot of people who don't look like us who are demanding that every single day. Yes. So we really have nothing to lose at the end of the day. You know, and, and quite frankly, if you ask and they don't give it to you and you lose that opportunity, trust and believe another door is going to open. Exactly. 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 Thank you.